we have a ray leaving that point. Done. Now, we want to copy the same amount of inclination. So, what I do is I put this on the point, and yes, this is how we start angle bisectors, but be careful, that's not what you're doing. Don't let your mind drift. And we draw an arc. We're going to measure how much arc in a moment, but first of all, I want to draw the same amount of arc equidistant from the vertex. So I come over here and I draw. Now, getting this okay? Hopefully it's dark enough for the camera. Good. Now, I can measure from above or below. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use this compass, like I did in Construction 1, to measure a length. And the length I want is measured from this point to this point. So I'm going to kind of use it like a captain's. And i got to make a little fine tuning. But this is the mark I'm looking for right here. Right here is the mark I'm looking for. It proves that I've measured from here to here. And since I measure from bottom to top, I'll measure from bottom to top here. I put this down at the intersection. You'll notice this point always goes where there's an established point. And here I've established a point. I put that there. And I scribe that up there. Now, two points establish a line. So one, two. And when I connect those two with a new ray, I have the same amount right there. Now, 